plate tape. You may not be able to see it, but it has lines on there. When it's exposed to heat, it becomes black. But that doesn't tell me necessarily that my instruments inside are actually, what, sterilized. It only says that heat got to it. The only way I would know is by this sterilization indicator strip, which I'm gonna put in the innermost part of my wrapping, okay? What you're always gonna do is you're gonna have at least two sheets here, and this is called muslin or muslin, depending on where you are in the country, wrap. This one has a 28 day shelf life. So it's literally four weeks from today, okay? That one has six months minus one day. Same thing, I'm gonna write on here, as you can see, they put their initials when it expires, May 12th, which means I do I need to do what? Already discard this, but not really discard it. What we would do is unwrap it, and then we would do what? Re-sanitize the instruments and rewrap the instruments, okay? So the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure that my sterilization indica indicator is on the innermost, and I need to also protect my ends. And there's lots of different ways. There's no specific way you need to protect. So you can wrap it like this. You can wrap it like this. It really doesn't matter. Because it also depends on what you're putting in here. If I said that this was a suture uh, removal kit or soft tissue kit or a uh, bone kit or something like that, it's going to require a little bit more um, in here. So I'm just going to put this in here. Put this in the innermost area. Put that here. And sometimes I have to adjust my instruments because if I don't have a tray where I have great edges, then I'm going to have a difficult time trying to wrap this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my first wrap, put this in the middle here, and I'm gonna turn it away from me. After I do that, I always smooth my edges out. Smooth my edges out, okay? And then I'm gonna put my first flap down. Why? Because when I'm opening this, I'm gonna take my thumb and open it like this and pull it um, toward me and down, okay? After I've done that, now I'm gonna bring in, it doesn't matter if it's right side or left side, but every time you fold over, you have to put a crease in, okay? And then another flap. I can make it all the way to the edge, so I'm gonna try to make it as neat as possible. Doesn't always come out neat, but we try our best. And now put this side. Again, what am I gonna do? Smooth the edges out and then fold this back. Because I need a flap. Okay, it almost looks like what? An envelope, right? Kind of like that. Now I'm gonna bring this over. Okay. What I like to do is just kind of turn this around like this. And as you can see, I have a little pocket here. Okay. And I'm just going to tuck this in into my little pocket. Okay. So that's my first one. When we're unwrapping, the person who unwraps the outside would be the floater, and then the inner wrapping, which is this one, would be the scrub tech. Okay, now I'm gonna do the second one. So I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. What's my next step? Flap. Mm -hmm. Okay, then bring this over, right? And smooth the edge. Make another flap. Smooth the edge. over. So what would happen if my instrument were to puncture my muslin wrap? What would you do? Start all over again, correct. Now some people fold over. I always like to bring this back a little bit. I always like to bring it towards me and turn it around. So sometimes I can Kind of push, bring my edges in so it's a little cleaner. 
And then I'm going to tuck this in again. So that's going to be my first flap when I'm opening it, okay? Now the trick is, how do I keep this so that it stays secure? So because this is my top, I don't flip it over, I'm now going to put my first autoclave tape right on top, just slightly over the edge, on the edge here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this over and just catch the bottom part here so that now I can pull it, okay? But I don't want this to touch the other side because what will happen? I will, I will have a hard time trying to open it. So I may have to just tear it a little bit. Okay, so the edges are not meeting, okay? Same thing on this side. So I made my tape a little bit longer. Bend this over again, just enough to catch the edge. And then tear that part here okay so now I have what I'll say this is my soft tissue so I'm gonna say EW and what's 28 days from today what's four weeks from today I don't have my phone anybody can look all these phones right here y'all not looking Okay, so I would put expires. I do put 28 days from today. I don't do it one day less. So J June 17, 21, and I'm going to put soft tissue pack. Okay? All right? And then you're all done. Okay? Now, 